Hello and welcome to Core Basics Coding Tutorial. Let's cover strings in Julia today. Before we talk about strings, we need to talk about characters. When you talk about characters, think about English alphabet letters, A, B, C, D, etc. Those letters along with punctuation mark formed something called an ASCII standard in early days of computer revolution. If you go to ASCIItable.com website, you can see the complete set of ASCII characters from 0 to 127. Here 65 is capital A and this represents A to Z characters in uppercase. We have lowercase characters here, which you can see here, and all these are all th all these letters corresponds to some ASCII number. For example, capital A is sixty-five. Okay, let's start playing with these characters uh, in Julia. What I have opened here is JuliaBox.org website. This allows you to run Julia uh, terminal or Julia notebook that way you don't have to install anything on your local computer you can just run it uh, all from your browser I'm going to create a Julia notebook based on the latest version and first thing I will do is type in capital A or uh, to represent a character you need to use a single quote here okay so this one is a character in Julia when you say type of that character it will say care so care is the data type corresponding to this letter a what happened later on after the computer revolution and ASCII standard is that uh, computers later on started supporting different languages for example chinese korean hindi etc and for that they came up with a new standard called a unicode standard in unicode standard you can get much more large range of characters for example if i want to uh, type in any unicode character let's say i want to type in something in hindi uh, I, you have to do slash u and type in the corresponding later uh, corresponding number uh, for that particular character when i say this i get this particular letter which is ka uh, that's a hindi character okay uh, if you want to print a heart symbol then you will do something like 2665 Okay. If you want to take a look at all this character, you can uh, just Google uh, Unicode characters and it will take you to this website which lists all the Unicode character. So for example, A here corresponds to 0042. Okay. Similarly, there's a whole bunch of characters here. Okay. Uh, so that was about characters let's look at how you convert those characters into integer so you can use this function int to convert a character into an integer number here it converted a into this number 65 uh, if you notice before on ASCII table uh, the corresponding number for letter a was 65 and that's what it is giving me here okay you can do a reverse conversion as well so from number 65 if you want to get a corresponding letter you can use this function char when you do that you get your capital a back you can also do uh, basic arithmetic operations such as less than operator for example a is less than b in terms of sequence so it will say true but if you say uh, a is greater than b it's gonna say false because a is 
in terms of sequence a is less than b you can uh, compare multiple characters in one shot like this so this statement holds true but if you say a is less than c yeah this is true but then c is not less than b so this is going to give me false okay let's talk about strings now strings are nothing but a list of characters stored in a sequence uh, strings characters and the numbers are the most basic uh, type of data in any programming language so if you want to create a string in julia you use double quote so i am going to say ice cream summer is coming and i'm craving for an ice cream so this is how you store ice cream string in a character called text as you can see in the diagram internally within a computer memory uh, the string is stored as a sequence of characters and these are stored contiguously in your memory addresses so if you want to access a particular character from a string you can use the index to or get that character for example to get the first character i can use text in square bracket one and that will give me the first character which is i now if you have any sort of experience with other programming languages uh, you will see a huge difference here which is in other languages index always starts from zero versus in julia the string index always starts from one and that's a big difference in all other programming languages uh, that the index always starts from zero okay if you so let me show you a couple of other uh, examples of indexes so text 2 is giving me c because uh, the at the second location i have c stored uh, if you want to get the character at the very end then you can use this specific uh, constant called end and that will give you the end character uh, which is m uh, in ice cream you can also do text to get the second last character in the string you can do and minus one that was about extracting a single character out of a string how about if i want to extract a sub string from within a string for example from ice cream i want to retrieve ice for that you can use range indexing and the way it works is you specify your first index so for example for ice my first index is one and then you type colon and then the end index which in this case will be three when i do that i will get ice back so this is the one is my start index and three is my end index and it will give me substring from that particular string how about if i want to get a remaining string for example I don't want to get eyes but the remaining part of the string so my starting index will be 4 and my index index ending index will be end end so that will give me space cream okay cool so now how about uh, if I have unicode characters in my string for example what if my string is Chinese so let's do so i'm going to just copy paste a chinese character i just did google and i just copy pasted it okay so if you do this this is my uh, string with a chinese character and if you do type off on that one it will tell me it is a utf st string now compare that with type of a simple english string so for Engl simple english string uh, it can use this ascii table ascii uh, standard 
and that's why it is saying it is an ascii string whereas for other languages it needs to use unicode and for unicode it uses utf8 encoding and that's why it is saying utf8 string here okay uh if i want to say uh i love you uh, and you want to just replace love with the specific hard character then this is how you do it here i know that the unicode character for hard is u2665 that's why i'm using that here and when i hit enter alter enter it says i love you okay now let's cover some basic operations on string the most basic operation that one can perform on strings is concatenation when you're doing programming often you will have a need of concatenating two strings concatenating meaning joining two strings together for that you can use the function string here in string i can have my first string and then i can have my second string when i do that i will get this okay it will join those strings together and it will give that as an output now in python uh, or in many other languages the plus operators work so if you do a plus b it will work but not that that will not work in julia it will give this error so you have to either use string or the other approach that you can use is a Perl style interpolation. So if you have two different variables, let's say this is my first variable storing for my first string and my second variable is B, which is storing my second string. And if I want to join these two together, I can say quote dollar A space dollar B dollar a means the value of a space dollar b means the value of b when i do that i will get a concatenated string again this is post style interpolation which is, which is supported in uh, julia with this particular syntax you can join strings with any other type of variable for example you have third variable which is a number and if you want to join that with the string let's say with, with the string in variable a you can do this and it will still work how about you have the fourth character which is actually an array so here d123 is an array and if you want to join that with uh, your string variable you can still do that and here is what you will get okay the next operation we want to cover is search so if you have a string a long string and you want to search for a particular character or a substring you can use search function so I can say search love I want to find a character O, for example. When I do that, it gives me the index back. So the O is at index number two, one, two. That's why it is returning me two. You can also look for a substring. So for example, I want to search for VE and it will give me the index index range for that substring so in string LOVE my VE is at 0 1 no sorry 1 2 3 4 that's why it is giving me 3 4 index range back okay if what if you don't have that particular character or substring in that given string in that case it will return zero zero means string is not found or character is not found okay the last set of operation we want to go over is contains contains is similar to search but instead of returning an index it will return you either true or false 
so when you say does love contain l uh it will say contains is no matter matching oh i see contains doesn't support character actually it supports only substring search so let me search for substring so i have the string i love julia and i am looking for string love in that so whether i love julia contains love or not it says true yeah it has a lot of love in it nice and when i say the same thing i love julia and search for some random war substring xyz it will say false because i love julia doesn't contain xyz okay that was all about strings in julia thanks for watching